Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about string. That is uh, how string behaves and what is string and how we can operate uh, different expressions, different executions and uh, how this string syntax will work out. These are all other topics we will be discussing. And uh, thank you everyone so far. Uh, stay with me and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that in future when i upload any new content you get a notifications so let's um, move on to the workstations uh, those who are uh, following me from the beginning you will find that i'm using a jupyter notebook you know in order to open the notebook you need to press windows plus r button from your uh, computer and you need to write jupyter uh, sorry uh, py space uh, dash m space notebook after that just uh, this is the command i hope you uh, you uh, you all are aware about that and this is the uh, python command uh, you will have to use it to run the jupyter notebook i have already opened uh, already uh, uh, kept my jupyter notebook running this is a python uh, editor where we will execute our operations our today's topic will be string and uh, i hope you can uh, see that there is python string okay and um, before that we will actually want to know that is what is string string in python are surrounded by either single quotation mark or double quotation mark and what is that string a special data type which uh, represent the unique character or unicode in python and uh, this is represented in uh, uh, with uh, single quotation or double quotations say for example hello and uh, this is a string and this is represented with single quotation and double quotations i will let you know some uh, di different operations that is whenever python will find these single quotation and double quotations then the python will identify this is excuse me the, uh, this is a string and uh, mostly we uh, uh, represent from a, a string uh, 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 either literally with a, a print function this is a built-in functions of pythons and uh, when we execute this then uh, you will find that the statement you have kept within that single quotation and the double quotation will be printed okay for example, I am showing this. Okay. And already I have showed you uh, when we make this thing uh, or when we keep this thing within a hash sign, then this be becomes a statement. Okay. That is, Python is not going to execute the code. Uh, That's a wow. That is when I control uh, or when I enter, that is shift enter. That is, uh, I am actually running the kernel. What happened? Let's see. What is that? Okay. 
that is uh, when actually I'm uh, running the kernel that is uh, uh, in a short that is called uh, ship and enter then the program will execute and here we can see the statement was within these uh, have been printed and uh, oh, we can see that here the first one is encoded with double quotation and the second word is encoded with single quotations but when we uh, want to print any statement and that is not in a single line that is in a multi-line statement then how can we do that that there is another thing print and mind it when you will write any function must encode with the uh, parenthesis that is uh, in our country is called first bracket Have you seen that? And uh, we can write one more thing. Who is offering a glass of water to me? I have you seen that? That is when I I am going to uh, write this thing in. that is when it is a multi-line statement then you have to use triple quotations either this single quotation th uh, three times or these double quotation three times it means it has to be encoded with triple quotations okay so th actually this is how we have we, this is actually a general way to uh, print in a statement but there is something which is really problematic um, if the statement is like this he is a good boy but it's not good to be good LA always okay if we got to print this statement what we will do any idea yeah because the problem is here already there is a apostrophe s or it means python will understand this this is a single quotation so if i write this statement within the single quotation what will happen see i'm sure it is going to be error because python is going to execute up to this not this i'm okay let's see what happens here is saying syntax error can you uh, can you remember uh when and at the uh, at the beginning I, I i told you what is called syntax initially i thought that uh, syntax means some sign or something which indicates something or any word but when I googled it, I have learned something new. And what is that? Syntax means the rules or the protocols to write any phrases, any statement, in any programs. It means it's a grammar of program. That is whenever you are going to write any uh, code, 
uh, syntax is the grammar and wh what is that here what is the problem I encoded it with double quote if I would have encoded with double quote there is no problem why still it is a problem well scanning string is still here print no it should not be a problem let's see we will run this program in this blog uh, line oh problem is here have you seen that it means I have used this and uh, to avoid these single quotations I have to use a double quotation so uh, there will be no problem but if there is any case like this that is uh, I have to write this way within the single quotations then what you will do that is if the problem is like this the in any way I have to write this thing in a single quotation and how say for example like this he is good Do you know we use sometimes uh, uh, any quotations or any statement given by uh, some uh, wise person we keep this thing within the double quotations right I have to print it in a single quotation also I have to maintain the double quotation things here but the problem will will be here because I have already a single quotation here and within the statement I have to use the double quotations so in that regards you have to use a backslash it means Python will understand this is a string and avoid this single quotations if you don't believe just see Python will execute have you seen that it has just printed so this is a way where or how you can avoid this and another thing you can use a function called raw R clone Mm. sorry I forgot that but I'll, I'll let you know there is a way to print the raw string that is straight away the Python will uh, print that <coughs> and uh, this is what we have learned now I am going to learn another thing assigning a string to a variable how we can assign a string to a variable this is very simple the things we we have already done we'll do the same thing here We will do the same thing. No worry. Okay. There is no uh, nothing that is the way we assigned uh, uh, 
a, any value with a variable that is x equal to 5 can you guys re remember it means x is a variable it means x is a box where we have kept a value called 5 similarly we can assign a string value to a variable here a is a variable and we have kept this hello string value into that variable only the difference is while we have used um, integer we had we have we, ha we didn't uh, use any quotations and this is a system or this is the syntax to use either single quotation or double quotation and if it is a multi-line statement or a string we have to use triple quotations like this just follow this follow this follow this I know this is the problem what is happening no Huh. it is printing hello so what do you did oh, i have assigned a value hello into a variable called small a and when i'm printing a i got a result called hello so this is how we assigned any string value into a variable What happened? Anything wrong? Okay. Now we will learn about multi line string. I think I have already discussed this issue. And see, this is. Actually, this is same thing what I have discussed already with you. That is multi-line string. Same thing. Keep the value within a variable. Only difference if it is multi-line, use this double quotation or single quotation thrice. Okay. Just you see what the problem is. The pro problem is this. This is the problem. Okay. Now the program program will execute. Have you seen that? Your this program is going to be printed. Similarly, the same thing. Here, double quotation I have used thrice, and he. Or I, I can use single quotation thrice. It means this thrice or three times using this quotation means I am telling Python this is not a single statement, a single line statement, this is a multi line statement. So, so you break the line. Okay. And uh, in this result, the line breaks are in. in started at the same position but the point as in the code it means the way the line I have I have created that is the where I have given the break or I have started the new line the as it is it will it will print there will be no change that is uh, uh, either uh, 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 in this code uh, there will no, not be something different okay now string are arrays okay fine let's see what does it mean string are arrays Okay, string are arrays. It means
let me define a function here. This is making problem, right? Can you see what I have done? Okay, like many other popular programming language, string in Python are arrays of bytes representing Unicode character. At the beginning of this uh, lesson, I told you that uh, in Python, strings are treated as uh, Unicode. However, Python does not have a character data type. A single character is simply a string with a length of one. That is, uh, if any uh, so for i, i is a single character letter or uh, we can consider as a word. Sometimes i used as a word and sometimes it represents sentence as well. Uh, so actually the, what the length of this uh, character statement or anything will be considered was one. A square brackets can be used to access the elements of the string. Actually if we say for example hello. So, if we want to access the word hello or any letter within this word, then we need to use a square bracket. Why we need to use? Actually, sometimes uh, this is called indexing, okay? And this indexing, uh, they get, uh, get the character uh, at the position number 1, we remember the character is position at 0. It means, in this word hello, if you if we wanna uh, access this uh, word called h, then we need to write zero. If you wanna access the uh, uh, letter called e, then uh, we need to address it one. It means actually Python or any actually machine language starts from zero to ends. So th that's why. The first position means zero position, second position means one, third position two, three, four, something like that. So if I execute the code, let's see what happens. Here, this is one zero. This is one, two, three, four, five. So hello is a five-letter word. So if I want to access this number 5, then what I have to, I have to write 4. Let's see what Python does. Okay. If I write uh, 6, let's see what, what is that? There is nothing. Maybe there is a space space. 7, W, then this is a very interesting concept it means say say for example I have a set where one two three or something else are there at different positions think that there are ten boxes within a set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. I want to access all the informations of the box 5. So in that regards, print function, I have told you if or when we use any function must enclose with the parenthesis. In our uh, language, uh, commonly we say first bracket and use the function name. Sorry, use the variable name. Here, list is actually a variable or something like that. If you wanna, if you actually create any uh, dictionary, then you can use the key and values. So, but if I wanna access a particular address. Just using this address in a square bracket, 
I can easily address this locations of the box so this is actually the end uh, using the index we can easily access those informations so now what called looping through string okay we can loop that is when we we actually loop we wanna uh, go from one two three four five six it means uh, I want to run the same operation time and again. In that case, we loop. And there are two type of loops, while loop, for loop, then um, if else, then um, maybe, uh, what are the loops are there? These are the most popular looping uh, we will find. Uh, there are another thing, um, if else, then elif is another one so, so so for example we will loop first we will look at for loop oh, sorry while loop let's see uh, hmm. okay here is a one thing we need to know while we loop anything we will have to use a special syntax called in okay say for example i wanna loop through to banana a a equal to banana banana then what I will do for I in A Have you seen that? Print A. What I'm I'm going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why is printing uh, everything? Okay, let's see the example. what happens what the mistake oh I called here is a mistake the entire it means when I did I did very I for I in a ban in a that is in banana that is in, instead of this I would have written this thing directly so what first the loop enter into B then a then n then a then n then a it means same operation ran time and again till end so this is how using for loop or any loop we can access every information one by one so this is a way where we can uh, run our show was that any problem cut down So actually this is a way where we can uh, how we can actually loop through when we'll discuss about for loop while loop then um, if else and nested while nest uh, then th th there are lots of lo uh, looping way and some cases where we will find uh, then we'll understand after that, uh, what we'll learn, learn more about for, uh, for loops in our Python for loop 
chapter yes uh, uh, i was uh, telling that even and there is a function called length if i want to know the length of these uh, of, uh, variable or the strength using this function uh, we can do do this uh, say for example uh, i want to know the length of these uh, variable just i will use length function what okay okay what's wrong with that maybe indentation problem yeah here the here i want to know the length of this um, variable and length is 6 it means there are six, six characters are there then another uh, for another function check a string so if uh, to check us uh, to if a certain phrase or character is present in the string or not that is uh, uh, what does it mean that is i want to say, say then i want to see an example here Here we want to see say for the text and th th this is the, uh, t e t t x t is a variable and I I, I want to check uh, whether there is, uh, whether these few words are present within this string or not and to do so we use this one in and to find that just uh, while we will pin that right this uh, string that is what we want to actually identify free we write it the string and we use this syntax in i n i n say for example if we wanna um find what should i say best huh then we we would have done b e s t best after that in where t x t let's see does it work or not it's true it means yes it it is present It's true yeah yeah the uh, word base is already present over here so th this is actually using this in function we can find anything within any string okay then next we will learn about use uh, uh, it in if statement okay uh, say for example we can do it uh, print only if free is in present and text if free is in present print yes then free is present okay this is going to uh, we gonna print i was trying to uh, do that before few minutes ago Okay, what we or what I want to make you understand, use it in an if statement. That is, uh, how can we use in in if statement? Okay, then we have uh, written these things. We have user conditions over it. If free word is present in the add variable, then print yes. 
free is present okay since uh, this is the word i told you sometimes you, you have to use single quotation the double quotations in a single statement then what if this condition is true then i will print yes comma then free is present in that in that uh, in that variable okay let's see whether it works or not yes free is present so this is what i wanted to make it that is use of in within if statement okay what we actually what i did that is python is very similar with our english language if free is present okay so instead of is present i told is if free in text print yes comma free is present so this is what i wanted to make you understand that this is very similar to the human language mostly the very uh, easy and communicative uh, and um, comfortable with english language so we definitely must uh, try to learn at least one programming language and we must start with python and this is very easy very interesting i'm i'm sure that you're gonna love it i was actually um, uh, so i i must say i was uh, illiterate on this ground but now i understand i went through the process several times and uh, what i am trying to make you understand that is if you try if you try at least a bit with a minimum quali qualifications of learning uh, this programming language the minimum qualification is only you have to know some basic way of learning any programming language that is you need your will force and you need to know how to run your computer a basic operations because from our childhood we have some mathematical or or uh, arithmetical or geometrical or logical knowledge so, and we get this knowledge from our family from our school from our day-to-day -day life we got to know how to express those logic in programming syntax i am again using this word syntax because i have learned this word before few uh, days ago syntax means how we can use those logic in programming language or python language say for example what what do we used to say we used to say if i go there i will come so in program thus i have to say if i go there i have to come so if i keep all those things in a variable and if i make this statement like if go in say for example x print yes I will come it means the same statement which I have said I have to just express it in Python syntax there is nothing rocket science it's not difficult it's very easy any one of us can learn this okay then next what we have to uh, learn more about if if statement in our Python okay and check if not to check if uh, a certain phrase or character is not present in string oh we can use the keyword not in okay say for example uh, i okay the best things in life are free okay but i want to know or i want to find something which is not just in, in, in instead of 
एकदम गुड इफ आई हैव जस्ट चेंज थिंग थिंग्स विल बी सेम हियर दिस गुड वर्ड इज नॉट प्रेजेंट विद इन द स्टेटमेंट और स्ट्रिंग और विद इन दिस वेरिएबल I'm running the program. Yes, free is not present. I'm just, I I'll just change this thing. Good is not simple. Good is not present in the C E A T M E N T statement you know, or something like that. So. This is what I did. Maybe this, the spelling is wrong. Uh, the basic thing, the lo lo logic is that if good is not present, that is actually what I am doing here. I am trying to search something, and while we'll write long program, this concept will work, or this this concept will um, be very in, important to you. That is within a big data, thousands or billions of data. you need to pick a certain informations in that case your this concept will work out okay next thing what we will check uh, if uh, expensive is not present of the way we did already print expensive something like that okay the this was all about the string and how we use string how we uh, simplify and lots of things we have done and uh, surely in my uh, next video we will discuss more about string and this is a vast thing and we really need to know lots of things because uh, mostly we will find this three type of data integer float and string mostly we'll have to work with this three type of data and uh, since we'll be going towards data science so this three type of data we will often will find out and we have to we have to work with this type of uh, things so uh, this understanding this string a bit complex or a bit um, uh, difficult than previous to and i must say uh we need to discuss on that we need to identify uh we need to develop the concept and i'm sure that if you guys stays uh, with me we we can easily do that okay <laughs> this was all about today's learning please let me know whether everything was clear or not or you guys uh, need more help or uh, the things we i have discussed so far i hope you, i i tried my level best to clear the concept but if you face anything difficult or if you face that yes something is not clear please write it in my comment box and i can assure you that i'm going to answer that if i don't know even i'll go and learn and i will come back and let you know so th thank you guys thank you so much for staying with me bye bye